Okay, we have this math question. Cal measured the temperature of a cup of hot chocolate placed in a room with a constant temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the chocolate was 185 at 6 p.m. when it started cooling. The temperature of the hot chocolate was 156 at 605 and 135 at 610. The hot chocolate's temperature continued to decrease of the following functions, which best models the temperature TM and degrees Fahrenheit of Cal's hot chocolate at minutes after it started cooling. So you just kind of have to understand the basic principle of thermodynamics in that <laughs> this kind of sounds silly saying out loud, but the temperature of a liquid can go below the surrounding room temperature, which means that you have to have some sort of constant for the room temperature in order for the math equation to make sense. So it's going to look a little something like this with the exponential equation. plus a constant, which we're given a constant in the form of 70. That's pretty nice. So it's going to be the exponential plus 70. And just like looking at the answer choices, D is the only one that actually has an isolated constant. So it has to be the correct answer. But if you really aren't confident, even after all that explanation, uh, you can uh, plug in the coordinates 5, 156 into the equation. It'll give you t of 5 is equal to 70 plus 115.75 uh, to the power of 1 which is going to give you a value very, very close to 156, but not exactly 156. And the reason why it doesn't have to be perfect is, is because they're asking you for the best model, not necessarily the perfect model. And that is why D is the correct answer.